Welcome to the Five on Five tonight. I'm joined by Paul Moen. He's the coach of my favorite team, robotics team at Ashland High School, and also Joseph Iaconelli. He is the team captain of this robotics team, right? Yeah. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. Okay, so Paul, this robotics team, what is it all about? What do you guys do? How do you do it? Uh, well, we compete in a program called First Robotics. It's a nationwide um, robotics competition. Um, it's the embodiment of STEM education, where you know STEM is science, technology, engineering, math, um, where you have a challenge issued every year in a new game. Um, it's a closely held secret until the first weekend in, in January, and we get we learn the game then, and we rush back to our our shop and start planning, start designing. We have six weeks to design and build a robot. Wow, and how many students are a part of this program? Well, this, year? this year's team, we have 25. Um, no, 26. Um, that's big. Last year, we had 11. Oh, and my goodness. Last year's team was the biggest we ever had. So we've really kind of pushed the envelope this year and recruited kids. 18 of our kids are freshmen. Wow. And it's really, it's really quite wonderful. Wow, and Joseph, you've been a part of this for how many years? I've been a part of the team for two years. Okay, and it's been rather successful so far, right? Yeah, this year we, uh, we just got back from our first tournament three weeks ago, and we placed our alliance placed third, uh, and we're in the top third right now in our district. Wow, okay, and what do you guys have to look forward to now? I mean, you have one win, basically a third place win under your belt. Um, are, how many competitions are you guys, guys going to have over the course of the year? We have another district competition coming up next weekend. And that's going to decide if we go on to the district championship, which will be the weekend after that. Uh, so hopefully, if we can get enough points at this next tournament, we'll be moving on to the district championship. Okay, and I can't imagine it's um, easy to get a third place win. What kind of work uh, goes into this as a student? A, a, a lot of the work, of course, in the six weeks of the build season go into designing, building, and testing the robot and programming it. But a lot of the unique things that we had at our last tournament uh, we're, we're one, we had a strategy app that we designed that allowed us to show stats with other teams explaining the pros and cons of our robot and how we could help other teams do better. And we also won what's called the Judges Award, which is an award for doing something extraordinary outside of robotics. First Robotics is really a lot about uh, STEM education and uh, bringing up awareness about that. So we did something called the 100 Person Project, which was each person on our team told 100 people about STEM education. Wow, so many cool things going on. We'll mm -hmm. discuss much more about this robotics team at Ashland High School when we return. Stay with us. Welcome back again. I'm joined by Paul Moen. He's the coach of my favorite team robotics team. That's <laughs> at Ashland High School. We also have Joseph Iaconelli, who's the team captain of this robotics team. So, Paul, what skills do students get by being a part of your team? Well, <clears throat> they learn industrial design. They learn how to plan uh, a schedule, they learn about money, budgeting, they learn about strategy, they learn about fabrication, they learn about competing. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of these kids, these sort of nerdy kids, they're the <laughs> last one on the bench and, you know, in PE, they learn to be a team. Wow. Um, they learn to be entrepreneurs. It's an all-inclusive program. And Joseph, you're a senior. What have you taken away? What is the biggest thing you've taken away from your involvement in this robotics team? I think the biggest thing I've, I've taken away really started this year as team captain, uh, coming together and trying to really grow the program. And what I learned a lot was about, um, about how, to, how to collaborate and how to work with a, a larger group to work toward a, a single goal and how to efficiently do that. Very cool. And Paul, you had said that it kind of, it costs a lot of money to go to these competitions, mm -hmm. to build these robots. Uh, do, does that all come out of your own pocket or? Uh, a bit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, we want to partner with as many uh, local businesses and corporations as we can. We're up against teams from Seattle that have Boeing written on the side of their robot. Wow. Um, teams from Portland that say Intel on the side. You know, those are big companies. We have to reach out to as many corporations and businesses in the Rogue Valley as we can, because we want to be a local powerhouse. And if there are any local businesses out there that want to support my favorite team, robotics team at Ashland High School, how can they do it? Uh, well, they can just get a hold of the high school, call the high school, and they'll direct them to us. They can also look at our website. It's team3024.com. 
That's our team number, 3024. Okay. And uh, there's ways to, th there are links that can take you into donating. Oh, donating. Right, and you have some big competitions coming up, so you're, yeah, <laughs> I'm sure, do. hoping to get some sponsorships and such. Yeah, well, we're doing well. We're just, we want to reach out to the community and do and go even farther because we're also mentoring other t other teams there are lower level teams like uh there's first tech challenge team at saint mary's that we're working with one in rogue river that we're working with oh, wow. and we're we want to spread the word of of stem education and robotics okay well good luck on all your competitions it looks like you're doing really well with so many kids a part of this we're thank you great. so much thank you. for joining us thank you stay with us we'll be right back